a good March the 18th, 2001 afternoon. The dogs and I wish to say giant greetings to you all. Doubly so in these um, challenging times. What else can we do? But the things that'll help us survive. <clears throat> and if that means somehow or another we gotta pull out or fabricate or create or lie to ourselves, some sort of balance to the reality and the threat and the pressure. Well then, fuck, I'm as happy as a pig in shit. Ha having the time of my life! And so should you be. Right? Uh, so find a way to do that, a good, good, a good healthy way, and uh, you get the extra added bona fide benefit there of uh, um, the bounce back effect of our examples. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's it. <clears throat> if there's anything good to be in it, you can be sure someone else is going to grab it, and make it their own, and try and run even a little further. And that's that's complement of pro progression. That's not competing. To me, I look at that in almost any way you want to mix it into a situation that's going to add up to a whole lot more. Yeah, well, so uh, let's get to it. <coughs> I've done my latest uh, crazy things. I sent off orders to, uh, to the Japanese emperor to make sure, do my part to make sure he knows what I think uh, had better be thought about. And, get them people back, because I know those reactors are one of the drink. It's just a matter of, <clears throat> can we get the upper hand and help help with the direction it will fall, you know? We'll be able to influence that a little. We got just a little, just enough collective ability. If we try, that means everyone. Put everything they can out there. If nothing else, if anyone's listening and all this goes out, anything, <coughs> any electronic signals can be picked up if, if you got the will and the ability to do it. So, you know, what we say amongst ourselves is truly said amongst the heavens when we do it electronically. Okay, well, uh, <coughs> plenty of radiation here. They're, they're trying to deal with it continually. They're, they're even admitting some here and, and <coughs> starting to get their head out of their maintaining subjugation strength mode and get into damage mitigation and prevention mode. That's a good thing because <clears throat> since when do we hide from the truth? Let alone, when could we? Eh? When could we hide from the truth? If such a thing were possible, it would have been done long ago. <clears throat> ah, you could only... Only lie in your own awareness. You, you can't lie to reality. You, you can't lie to the truth. Hey, let's have a quick look. <clears throat> we had our <clears throat> lower atmosphere, um, how shall we say, enhanced a little or tampered with or modified. I took spectral readings, but I have to, they're so poor quality as per usual that it'll have to wait later to be analyzed. I've sent them off. See what they were dumping out of those KC-11s that overflew me yesterday. I, I did get a little bit of real poor footage of them. But more importantly, I got at a distance of maybe 800 feet or so, I got a shot of the dispersants as they were coming down. They were quite targeted. And I saw I saw some higher up at about the uh, well, starting at about eighteen thousand. Just uh, going east of Drail the other day there the other night, two mornings ago. So just <clears throat> just on visual observations, I can tell you that yeah okay well they were trying and of course I I know the weather patterns here as they come in from the ocean. We get that which comes in over Salem, and we get that which comes in over Vancouver. 
And it even blends sometimes in the simakine. Yeah, well, overcast guys. Yeah, I gotta pace myself and and uh, Stephen Harper has also been sent his orders to first uh, withdraw Canadian involvement in this uh, <clears throat> we're gonna attack you Libya nonsense or to immediately withdraw all participation in any way that is not purely defensive in the region and that includes defending Libya and if somebody should fly in well, Canucks, get in your birds, get up there and, and <clears throat> intercede. I didn't say intercept. Get between them. We got bigger priorities than this New World Order bullshit. Okay? And of course, as goes for anyone, you contemplated aggression. There goes your... Uh, there goes your welcome. You're no longer welcome on the earth. Get get off. I mean, obviously this is going to be a real problem. We're going to have to go with some kind of a <clears throat> something along what we do with the refugee claimants and deportations and appeal chances and whatnot. <clears throat> and you are responsible. Get your own ass off the off the planet if you've been unwelcomed. So keep that in mind. But yeah, you can stall it out. But you can't keep willfully uh, doing anything on the earth other than surviving. Once your welcome's off, your, your welcome's off. Go back to whoever it is that brought that minute portion of you into the planet and introduced it. The ones you all call your gods. which are not your creators. Your creator was the belly of the star that your matter came from before, or stars. Willful tampering of, your, of the matter that was there on, say, genetic modification done to you 8,000 years ago, or, or whenever, if ever, <clears throat> by somebody's willful intent, not of natural occurrences such as gra gamma ray burst or which can even come from lightning <clears throat> let alone collapsing giant stars quasars yeah enough said <clears throat> uh, yeah don't got equipment Oh, gee, are there some <clears throat> weather modif atmospheric modifications in the air that I can't detect? Or that I don't even know how to take samples for? Well, just a rule of thumb in the old days. They kind of blended their common sense, their senses, with, with what they were used to in nature, whatever part they were in, forest, field, mountaintop, whatever. And just as animals do now, even between species. Oh! What are those robins saying over there? That that doesn't sound normal. I'm I'm getting a little feeling. Imagination, imagination, imagination. Yeah, I better look around. There might be something here. Says the duck. Says the deer. So you know, they networked long before. They fed into each other. You know, and they didn't know all these. Acting on belief is no substitute for actual acting on facts and contemplating them and wearing them and measuring them. If that's possible. If that's not possible, well, all you got is your gut feeling and, and understand and beware that it, at that level you are networked with whatever life is around you. Doesn't mean be, be led by the mass hysteria. The stampeding antelope, but be aware of it, incorporate it into your being, 
So there you go. <clears throat> in effect, just like being in a magnetic field where you can have a tricorder, well, in a bio field, you can have a approximate a facsimile of that function. Well, that's it. I, I got the tackies. I gotta stop and have some of my well water. So hey, don't forget the basics. Basic triangle. You got you got your air because because you're good for like at the most eight minutes without it. You got your water. You're good for like you know when your body starts closing down at the longest after 48 hours. How quickly it closes down depends on conditions. And you got your food, you're good for, you know, maybe a week before your <coughs> body's going downhill and eating itself. So, uh, there you go. The triangle of life, there you go. <coughs> I just kind of made that up based on the triangles, like the triangle of fire. And what we do as a fire warden. So, you know, you got jugs, well, milk jugs. Clean them out, rinse them out. A drop or two of bleach in it. I mean, a drop or two, and some water, or change the water every, you know, a week if it's out of the sun in a cool place. It's, it should still be plenty potable, even untreated water. Imagine what a jug would be worth. Well, half a dozen jugs in a box in the closet or whatever. Even empty ones. If all of a sudden, your next couple of weeks was going to be really difficult without even water. And hey, what a valuable commodity. And you know, even the worst water can be filtered. You guys got nothing better to do? Well, look, look this stuff up. There's so much on survival methods, surviving nuclear warfare. A lot of it's done at a government level, but there's lots there. Way better than watching about Cipero and, and them dang terrorists with the box cutters not carving up skyscrapers and you, you remember. Go we'll learn something that's useful for life anyhow. And you know, you're occupying yourself wasn't wasted. And boy, if you ever need any of that knowledge and you got it at hand, when or lose, you'll be glad you had the distraction of having a foggy idea what to do, or what you could do, or just to keep you thinking through it and over and through the fear. Hey. Good enough. Hey. <coughs> uh... Well, love, love's the way, we all know that. Catch us later. <sighs> Dagan, they just love it. There turns out it's a real Dagan specialist. And well, Cindy's getting at the age where she wants to take up a trade too, so. Root Dagan. Catch you later.